Hi everyone, this is Deb Tim, a Canadian girl, and today I want to share with you a new development in this aquarium. I'm really um, impressed and it's really kind of cool, so please stay tuned. This is a closer look at my African cichlid community. And here there are mostly Mbuna, a few peacocks, a few like Victoria cichlids, and a hap or two. It's a dynamic community of stunning fish that I'm very proud of. They, of all my fish, bring me the most joy and entertainment. It's not unusual for me to sit and watch them for hours. They have the power to drain away stress, clear my mind, and bring me peace. What an amazing thing an aquarium is. Look at this stunning fellow. This guy is a mason reef cichlid, one of my absolute favorite cichlids. Just look at that face and how vibrant he is. This stunning guy came from my son's home. He was the terror of the tank. Many of you know Ghost, my tank boss. He's the solid white pearl zebra. Pearl zebras look similar to albino succalophies, but they have dark eyes instead of red. You will see I have a few of them in this tank as well. I'm sure I mentioned this before, but I also have a couple of Ghost's offspring in this community. Ghost is really amazing, the best tank boss I've ever had. I would like nothing more than to have a brood from his offspring. Looking at this community, the colors are magnificent. The zebra obligatins with the dark black stripes, yellow bellies, with that splash of red, make such a vibrant addition. They're very much like Mbuna in temperament and mix well in a community like this. I have three males and one female. I'm pretty sure she'll be holding soon. The guys have been taking turns dancing for her. She's beautiful as well, but she's missing the yellow and red, so she's much plainer. Ambuna are easy to tell apart by their snub noses, perfectly designed for munching on algae growing on rocks. They have a thicker body looking more stubby than the other cichlids. The space between their back and their caudal fin is also shorter. Now taking another look at the Mason Reef, it has become clear to me that Ghost has allowed him the position of second in command. I have not seen them fight, but Ghost is showing he's accepting the reef by allowing him to display dominance over the other cichlids without being aggressive. It's pretty amazing to watch. Ghost seems to keep an eye on him and leaves him alone. If he gets too bossy, Ghost comes and swims between them. In watching your cichlids' actions and reactions, you begin to recognize what they're doing and why. So far, Ghost is allowing the reef to supervise the center front of the tank. He doesn't venture too far from that area, where Ghost covers the entire tank but makes his home in the back left corner. Often you can see Ghost is watching the reef, making sure he knows his place. There is definite respect between the two of them. Ghost is not a fighter, which is apparent by the way he runs the tank. I think in giving the reef some power, he is avoiding a confrontation and keeping the reef satisfied. He was the tank boss of the community at my son's home, but it was half this size. I'm sure that's part of the reason why he respects Ghost's authority. I don't know who he was fighting with or when, but my one dragon blood has a torn lip indicating some lip locking was going on. I haven't been able to find anyone with the same type of injury, so I can assume the dragon blood lost the fight. 
I have two more females holding in this aquarium. One is an OB and the other is the super red zebra that Ghost bred with last week. With the zebra obliquidens breeding, I will have to do some stripping as I certainly won't have room for them to spit on their own. I'm very excited to have my obliquidens breed. I have had them before, but I've never had a female, so I've never had the opportunity to raise their fry. This community keeps me entertained, busy with their care and filling my little fish room with fry. It's an all around amazing aquarium. So until next time, this is Deb Tim signing out. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.